Hello there, it's Pastor Curtis. I'm a bivocational pastor. I'm an assistant pastor with Church on the Go, and I am also a department manager for a, a, a local grocery, a local store. I'm a grocery manager. Uh, so I um, have experience with retail and other areas of, of work. Um, and I want to encourage you with a little Bible verse today. Psalm 90 verse 10 says the days of our lives are 70 years and if by reason of strength they are 80 years. So when I was getting into, and, and it says even later on, but if by, uh, but yet their boast is only labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So the point is that we will have labor, but it's, it's blessed labor if you're doing it in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's blessed labor and you can have joy of the Holy Spirit. You know, instead of sorrow, you can trade your sorrow in kingdom business. You can, you know, the kingdom is about trade. We're trading our sorrow for joy. We're trading our mourning for gladness. We are trading our rag, uh, rags for his robes of righteousness. Our filthy, unrighteous rags are being traded for his robes. But don't take your youth for granted. Young adults, I'm talking to you, uh, especially 18 to 35, I deal with uh, young adults that are co-op students in my store, that, in the store that I r work. I train them, they're co-op, they're 18 to 21 aver on average. And, you know, I, 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 I want to encourage you, don't take your youth for granted. Don't assume just because you're young that you have X number of years. The Bible says an average would be 70 to 80, but that's not a hard and fast rule, right? So if you are, so when, when determining young adults in general, just defining it, using this as a guideline, not a hard and fast rule, but a guideline, half of 70 is 35 and half of 80 is 40. So if you're in the 35 to 40 zone, you're starting to get into the mid zone. And if you're 35 and under, you're basically still within the young adult range. However, Jesus reached full maturity at age 30. He was baptized with the Holy Spirit. At age 30, David was anointed king of Israel at age 30, and Joseph in Egypt was made vice pharaoh or vice president or whatever you want to call him. He was the guy in command after the pharaoh at age 30. So 30 is also an important age. But I want to encourage you to take advantage and take it, you know, go for the calling that God has called you to. What has God called you to do? If you want to know more about that, come and join us around our round table. Don't wait. Do it today. Find out because every calling from Jesus is holy. If you are called to run a Christian business or run a business with Christian principles and raise up disciples within that business, then do it. If God has called you to be an overseas missionary, do it. If God has called you to be a grocery manager, do it. If you're called to be an assistant pastor like me, do it. If you're called to be a bivocational pastor like me, then do it. But be yourself in Christ, whatever God has called you to do. 1 Corinthians 7.17, whatever the Lord has called you to do, that's how you should walk. So, but don't wait till tomorrow. We don't know about tomorrow. Only God knows about tomorrow. Um, James, the book of James, teaches us that we should um, uh, that that we should only say, "At the Lord willing that we live, we will do this or that for the next year." So, Lord willing, we live. Lord willing, everything goes the same. Then we will do this or that. We'll make our plans for the future. And you should be making plans, especially as a young 20-something. You should be making plans for your future. You should have something, a uh, vision. Uh, ask the Lord to give you a vision. If you don't have a vision for your workplace future, then just get started. Find a job and get faithful at it. Just get faithful and ask the Lord to guide your steps as you work. But don't wait because 70 to 80 years passes by like nothing. It just It's like a vapor. It just disappears. By the time you hit 35, you've already reached halfway through 70. By the time you hit 40, and next year I'll be hit, uh, starting my 40th year, um, you know, uh, you're already halfway through that. And so we don't know. We can't assume that, you know, we have X number of days or years. Only God knows that for sure. So today's the day to serve the Lord in kingdom business. So please visit our page, www.churchonthego.ca slash kingdombusiness.html and visit us first, second, third Sundays every month, 5.30 p.m. for Young Adults Roundtable. Um, certainly we are targeting those that are 35 and from 18 to 35, but if you're 40, if you're 50, you're 60, you're 70, it doesn't matter. Please come anyways, okay? Because it's never too late to learn. So I want to bless you. God bless you. You know, God will make your, your sorrow into joy. He wants to trade your sorrow and give you joy instead. So God bless you. Take care.